Millennials are flocking there to a valley with vineyards as far as the eye can see. Dirt roads and a million stars shining brightly in a sky with no street lights. Where is there? Head south, mis amigos, head south. Less than two hours south of San Diego lies a picturesque valley, Mexico's sprawling wine region, the Valle de Guadalupe. One of the oldest wineries in the valley, Monte Chenique, is also credited with being the first to create premium wines. 70% of the responsibility of a good quality comes from the fields, comes from the plants. So if you attend to the plant uh, during the year and you're doing all the work, uh, you're going to get a good quality wine. CEO Hans Bockoff knows this land. His father founded the winery 30 years ago. Together, they've created Gran Ricardo, a Bordeaux blend red that's getting attention worldwide. We're producing our own style here, and I think uh, it's more of a new world style. Closer to Napa than Europe, a style that uses technology from growing to the glass, but allows the soil to do the work producing fresher, aromatic, fruit-expressive wine. You can see the grapes here, and it, they're, they're small, compact, uh, bright, have a very nice color. Whites, such as Sauvignon Blanc and Chenin Blanc, are staples of the Valle, but one look in the caves under Monte Chenique, and it's clear there is still plenty of experimentation going on as the region strives to find its global identity. The cave where the reds are stored was blasted out of the mountain, and there are 1,400 barrels and nine different varieties stored here of red wine. And where there's wine, there's food, really good food. There are great experiences that you can come and, and just taste all this uh, amazing uh, Mediterranean, but really uh, uh, with this uh, focus of something really regional. Look no further than star chef Javier Placencia's Finca Altazano, which was packed when we arrived. The food that it's being done here in Valle Guadalupe, it's, it's just very different. It tastes like the region. Everybody's using their uh, ingredients from the region. So we have plenty of seafood, excellent little ranches and uh, orchards. and. I mean, we have it all. We have lambs, we have goats, we have chickens, we have we made cheese. Uh, we have uh, amazing olive oil as well. And uh, with all of that, we have this amazing cuisine. It's called Baja Med. It's redefining the cuisine of the country. Placencia and his group of restaurants is leading the way. In 2016, 600,000 people visited the Valle. That number is predicted to triple this year. The number of wineries has climbed to 150, all signs that would point to a bigger and brighter future if it were not for one worry. We need the water, and the main problem of this valley is water. The founder of Monte Chenique, the elder Bakov, is also working with his son to find a solution to the only thing that could choke off this valley, a lack of water. Over here we have solutions, but we, we need to solve it. We need to solve our own problems. On this day, Hans was meeting with regional officials, whether it's sharing Colorado River water, reclaiming or desalinating, growers in the Valle look to the government to help them find a solution. But for now, the region is beckoning just as it is. With dirt roads and still when you come, we want you to feel like you're in real Mexico, like you're real in Baja. Uh, it cannot grow too much because we don't have the resources and we don't have the water. So we have to respect the, the area and the region, and, and, and this is a wine-producing uh, region, and we have to respect that as well. And the Valle de Guadalupe is still evolving every year, and with each season comes new wineries, restaurants, and hotels. They all pop up as more and more people come down for a weekend wine getaway in the valley.